What is good guys back with another live using a teammate by Eclipse. Basically I asked you guys on Twitter if you want me to do a show on live if you want to see more smoke tours uh, or ST or World Cup and yeah most of you guys wanted to see a show on live. Um, either let me know in the comments or follow me on Twitter and I'll ask you guys again um, what you want for the next video then. But yeah looking at this I think Magnezone would be the perfect lead if he didn't have the Diggers B actually huh. Yeah, lead with Lando because he should be scared of to lead with Skarm. If the free has you turn here into my tank growth, he could go for Will O Wisp um, and he misses. So now we go for knockoff here, I think. Covers Heatron and uh, Skarmory pretty much. Not too high on this alt. Um, just uh, pretty much an alt where I test new teams on. Okay, this might be um, a Z move Skarmory, so it's. Probably Sky Strike or some garbage. He makes a good play there, predicting me to go into Magnezone. That's no, not too big of a deal. I can just go into Landris here, eat up a hit. Uh, probably would have died to Ice Punch. Is he's choice banned at Digger Speed? <laughs> Holy fuck. So I can hit him up at the time and go for a U turn here now. Mm -mm -mm. I can go Reuniclus and Focus Blast because it covers the Heatran. Um, I could Calm Mind even. Yeah, I think Reuniclus and Focus Blast. Predicting him to go into either um, Digger Spear or Heatran is a good play. But yeah, I haven't talked about the team. It's Dragon Z, Garchomp, AV Tangrowth. Please connect. Amazing when you predict them, but no. Classic Pokemon. So yeah, I'm gonna go Garchomp here, predicting some sort of rocks play from him. I'm gonna get up my own rocks anticipating the Skarmory slash Rotom to come out and I mean I have a Magnezone in the back so he might go for Whirlwind or something like that hmm <laughs> but yeah it's fine I'll just go to Magnezone in case he wants to play safe and stay in here so he does pull a double into Rotom that's fine I can Volt here into my um, into my Tangrowth Maybe I should have gone to my um, Garchomp predicting Volt Switch, but that's just too risky on a potential Willow Wisp. So Diggersby can come out here and destroy me with um, Return, but instead he goes in the Heatran and gives me my Garchomp Switch. Uh, this could be a Willow Wisp variant, okay, doubles into his Skarmory. I'm, I'm just gonna SD here. Um, is he SDs on his own? Hmm, should've just gone to Magnezone again. He's offensive, how much does plus to Dragonium do? I think plus to Dragonium might just kill him, so I'm gonna go for that. Kinda sad to waste it on this, but yeah, I figured it would kill since he's offensive. Weak armor, Z-move Skarmory, nice onset. So, Tabulit is Choice Scarf, otherwise this play makes no sense. So he's forced to Moonblast here. I'm going to my Tangrowth. Uh, Heatron is a threat, so I need to keep my Guard Trump around and hopefully no special attack drop. So now I can either Giga Drain or Earthquake. Um, I guess Knockoff is a good mid ground. Hmm. Yeah, Knockoff is fine. Because we don't want to let the Gyarados in for free. And like Heatron. Like, I, I don't care if Heatron comes in on a Knockoff, is what I'm trying to say. The so Bandit Diggers B is gonna pretty much destroy me here. I see. I expect Ice Punch slash Return. Um, Tangrowth is useful to check the Garrett. My Reuniclus go in this game. It's either Sag Reuniclus or. Huh. Do I need Magnezone? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think every Mon can like do something. Reuniclus is not winning this game. <laughs> I mean, just Psy Shock here, he's gonna pick me off. And afterwards, I can go into my Mawile. You can go to my Mawile here and click um, Knock Off. Anticipating the heat trend to come out. I could have also. Nah, got, nah, if I go Guard Trump, that's not the play. Yeah, this is the play. And just knock off the heat trend. We know a scam was Z move, so heat trend is gonna have to take rocks plus a knock off. So this should do like 40%, 50 maybe even. Bob 57. So now Sucker Punch is really obvious. I'm expecting him to try and play around my Sucker Punch. Um, 
Maybe go for Wisp if you have that. But I don't really have a... Hmm. Do I have a play? He, could, he might go Hard Diggers be here, breathing the Sucker Punch. But yeah, I'm gonna make the mid ground of going Garchomp because it covers him doubling into Diggersby and it covers him staying in exactly. Uh, I could have played off predicting that, but that wasn't worth it. Yeah, I'll just. Well, the thing is, Earthquake doesn't kill this. He's just gonna return here. I think I can. Hmm. If I lose this, I'm weak to Hedron, yes, but Hedron is almost dead. Uh, so I think I'll just. I think I'll just outrage here. Yeah. Get good damage on this. And. Go into Landris here. I can. Probably HP Ice or U turn. If I defog, I give his Gyarados free setup, so that's not the play at all. Yeah, just U turn here, kill his Diggers B and. Go into my Scarf Magnus Zone. So if Flita has Focus Blast, it can pick me off, but let's see. Oh yeah, also you guys can suggest Mons that you want to see. Uh, Taste wanted me to use uh, Reuniclus, so I used the Reuniclus. But I couldn't either T-Bolt or Volt Switch. I think T-Bolt is fine. Now he can go Tabu Lily here. Because he can live with, um, he can live a T bolt and he's scarf, but I don't need this to win. And if he has focus blast, he has to hit. I can go into my um, oh yeah, HP fire. We eat that. I can go into my and we crit him. That probably mattered. But yeah, Maul would have been able to live HP fire. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we just T bolt, get good damage on this. You know he's intimidated so he doesn't have moxie, um, so yeah we cannot lose to this. So we just pick him off, I'm gonna pause it, change the music real quick and be right back. Okay, I'm actually 22 and 0 on this all, which is super fire, but yeah, we're still low on the ladder obviously. So Garchomp lead could come out here, Garchomp or Skarm, well I don't know, if I was him I would be scared to send out Skarm ever when you see that Magnezone. Oh yeah, Brillum, also people like to lead Brillum. But yeah, overall, it's either Garchomp or... Landorus for me here. Yeah, Landorus has obviously more utility, so I'll just go with that and HP ice him. Like Landorus leads off better uh, versus stuff like Brilum. I could have just U-turn off if he led with Brilum. And yeah, I figured he wouldn't lead with Skarm because of that zone. Uh, Hooper is a bad matchup again for Reuniclus. Like last. Game we faced Gyarados now and and Ben and Bennett Diggersby now we face Hooper so not the best matchups for Reuniclus I hope I can get a matchup where I can put him work yeah I figured he would go either Megana or Hooper knowing that I'm Choice Scarf I should have doubled there um I don't have a Hooper switching <laughs> I might just have to pick one um I'll go Mobile here if he's physical I can definitely eat up a hit cool don't freeze me and is that Bandit. Well, I'm not sure, but I think I can go for a knockoff here. Yeah, I just mega knockoff. I could also double into Magnezone because the Skarm is obvious, but in case he's Shed Shell, we get to knock it off. Leftovers, okay. So now he's probably gonna Whirlwind anticipating my Magnezone, so I'm just gonna SD. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, because if he Whirlwinds me out into Magnezone, that works out perfect for me, but he doesn't. But yeah, I can just get my rocks here. He's uh, obviously spamming Whirlwind, and yeah, he finally got Magnezone, we can just Volt Switch out here to pick him off. And we can either go into... Yeah, we can just go into Lander here. Obviously, we have a uh, Scarf, Magnezone to help. Versus stuff like SD Kartana on this team. I haven't used this team too much, it's like, I only played like one test game with this. But I think it's pretty cool. He made like three versions of this Eclipse. Um... I don't. I haven't used the other team at all, and I like this a little bit better. So, I just picked this for now. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I can just go Tangros here. He's some unset sub focus punch, probably. Yeah, how did I know? <laughs> uh, I was just guessing, kind of, but I got it right. Um, okay, that doesn't do too too much, and we can just go Lander here.
Like, Reuniclus is... Um, I hope we face like a Clefable team, because Reuniclus can beat Clefable. Um, you obviously see him up and beat it, because you have Psyshock. And yeah, we can just spam off quick here, because this guy lost his Skarmory. That's also why Magnezone is... Um, oh, I, I forgot that he's, if he's AV, he eats it up. I didn't think that through for... But yeah, like, this Landris has some attack investment, so I'm surprised that I didn't kill. Okay, basically, I was... For some reason, thinking that his Megina was offensive and I would have been able to pick him off, but it's obviously AV on this team just looking at it because Greninja destroys him. So yeah, I should have seen that. If he, he could have killed me there with Ice Beam or something, but. Uh, well, Ice Beam is not that common on, Meg on Megina, but I guess Flurkin would have been able to pick me off probably. Uh, no, Earthquake might be a roll on this. Uh, I don't really. I'm gonna get put to bed here, so I think I'm gonna go Tangros. If you focus puns, just predicting that, props to him, but he does just go for Spore. Uh, giving me the HP eyes here. And I can just knock off the Alakazam. Uh, it's probably Megazam. I don't know if Psychic kills me. Might be able to pick me off. Oh, he tries his region. Okay, it doesn't pick me off. Well, now... Tangrowth isn't doing much anymore, so I think I'll sack it. And afterwards, I just go land and click Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. Like, if I go with Magnezone, it doesn't even outspeed it, so there's no point. So I can just go to this, click Earthquake. Um, well, Brillum can come in afterwards. But that's... I think that's okay. I don't want to lock myself on the HPIs and let the Hooper come in again, like earlier. Um, I guess he's. if I was him, I would sack the McGinner here, get the region that he traced. I'm sure you guys the rank is pretty solid. Nice 22 and 0. Well, you guys can see it soon. The dimensions are messed up. Yeah, there we go. So he just decides to sack the guard charm instead of the Megina, which makes no <laughs> sense to me. Because what is the Megina doing? But yeah, um, Breloom can put something to sleep here. I think Reuniclus might be the sleep fodder. Hmm. I'm not sure. This is annoying. I think I put Reuniclus to sleep as he focus punches for some reason. Um, the problem is I can't click my Psyshock stab here freely because he has a Hooper. If I had Signal Beam here, I would click it as fuck. I think I have Focus Blast here because it does some... Nah, nah, nah. I, ma I make a... Well, I think he's just going to go for Spore. But in case he goes Hard Hooper, I click Focus Blast. Yeah, if I was him, I would have Spored. I don't know why he didn't. That does absolutely nothing because Hooper has great um, Spit Death and this is not invested. So now he's gonna hyperspace. I don't have a good play. Like my Morwell isn't. Actually, Morwell has sucker punch for Zam, but I'm fine versus Zam. I figured I would li be able to live there, but he crits me. I'm pretty sure that might have mattered. Because this Morwell has a good amount of HP investment. I can calc real quick. Like I know it's already over. He already crit me, but I just want to know if that mattered. Morwell custom set was Hooper. Well, I'd say he's choice banned, right? Yeah, that would not have killed me. Yeah, so he just forfeits. Cool. So we change the music. I'm on next real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're here with some weird as fuck rain team. This guy only has one swift swimmer and then this, what's the ability called? I forgot. Anyway, so like the toad lead is like really obvious. Other option is the fortress lead. I think Magnezone. Magnezone should be good here. And yeah, pretty much. I click flash can here. Well, I go Tangros, I go Tangros. To um I was predicting the Swampert to come out, but he just goes to this. Uh, I can knock off here expecting a volt switch into Scissor or Tornadus. And we can get rid of an item. Well he could be Z move on Torn, but it's fine. Uh, is this a specs? Um, could be a big threat, but it shouldn't be able to do too much to me. This Tangrowth is really important, so I have to be careful. But yeah, I can trap the Scissor with Magnezone, and then Tangrowth is super annoying to his team. Did I DC or something? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let me just type test. Um, yeah, I'm not locked anymore, which is super cool. Yeah, after Scissor gets trapped, Reuniclus can definitely put in some work in this game. So he's Life Orb. 
It doesn't do much, and I can just knock off again here. Uh, he's most likely gonna Volt Switch out. Oh yeah, Dry Skin is the ability that gives him health back. Well, uh, I can... Yeah, I can knock off here. He hearts into Torn. Now we get the CVZ move. Torn is super annoying for this team, but... We have like some checks for it, like Magnezone and Mawile. Uh, yeah, I think if I'm him here, I would just hit the U-turn button, but... Hmm. You never know with these rain guys. He's probably just gonna hurricane. No, I didn't mean to say rain guys. I just meant like low Lara. Swampert pretty much forces me into Tangrowth. Well, I'm expecting Rock so Ice Punch here. He just waterfalls, and yeah, I'll just I just Giga Drain here in case he tries to Ice Punch. I know he has a Tornadus, but like, like I said, I don't trust low Lara. Um. Okay. I mean, even if I double into Magnezone, I wouldn't have gone much out of that turn. Well, double double into Maul would have been good play. So now he's gonna U-turn. The best I can do is Flash can. Hopefully, don't hit myself and then get some chip on Swampert. I could also switch out here. I could also switch out here. Because it scouts for superpower and it covers the U-turn and I don't want to hit myself. Yeah, I definitely don't want to hit myself. So if I go Lando here and he U-turns, um, his rain runs out, which is cool. He will then go Scissor or Swampert or Fortress. Actually, I don't know if I want him to give a f get a free switch into Fortress. I think Morwell might be the better play here. But Lando covers the superpower. <laughs> Lando covers the superpower, but he just goes for U-turn. Okay, so now we know he most likely doesn't have superpower, or he doesn't wanna... Maybe he doesn't kill from that range if he's not invested in attack, so he doesn't wanna uh, lose his torn, which makes sense. Uh, now he can go with Fortress, which is definitely annoying. I don't like that boy. <laughs> but he goes Heliolus. Why? That makes no sense. And we have already seen his life orb was knocked off. I'll U-turn here, in case he wants to switch. Yeah, like, I could have just earthquake and killed him, but I thought he was gonna go back to Torn or something. That play didn't make any sense. Um, into Tangrowth, he expecting Surf. And yeah, he's most likely gonna go to Torn, or he's gonna Volt Switch. I think I can go into Magnus Zone here. <laughs> Actually, I HP eyes here. Okay, why? Why would you make that play? I HP eyes again here. Actually, no. You go Magnezone because it covers the Toxic and it covers the Torn. Um, if he goes for a Water move, that's a holy bad play. But yeah, I predict the Toxic uh, Immaculate there. And I can go for Flash Can and get some good chip on the Swamp Herd. Well, it's not going to do much, but like 15 maybe? 19, cool. We take those. We go Tangrowth here. See, this just crit me okay that sucks so now I'm kind of feel like I'm forced to Giga Drain here don't think I'm in Ice Punch range just yet but that crit was definitely scary I don't know if the music is loud enough I have the music relatively low uh, because then some videos my voice was uh, not loud enough compared to the music so I was making sure so I always like want to make sure these days that um, the music is lower this is annoying, Mantis is just gonna spam U-turn, but in case he hurricanes, I have to go zone. Yeah, this is like, if you don't have a Coco or a Zapdos, Tornadus annoys the shit out of every team. Yeah, I'll just flash can here, but... Hmm. I'll go more while. That's fine. Yeah, I'll go more while. On the U-turn slash uh, superpower. Like, a lot of these teams um, that you see these days are super annoyed. Like, if you have Celestia like Gastron teams, they're also annoyed by Torn. Building, building is, like, not that easy at the moment. Like, I struggle a lot with building. Um, I've been trying to make a good pincer team. It's hard as fuck. I'll try again later with my man Eclipse. But, yeah, we can go... I mean, he's eventually gonna ice punch me. Or like, I don't know why he's not getting his rocks up. I think he has the rocks on the fortress. But yeah, Tornadus comes out here. So what I should do is, 
I think I should pull a double into Garchomp and get my rocks up. No, I go into Magnezone. I go into Magnezone. Because if I go Garchomp, um, and then I rock and he goes for Sky Strike, that puts me in a bad spot. But I could have gone Garchomp and fired off my Z. Now he would have just gone Fortress on Garchomp. I have flash can here. Like this is just so annoying. Guess can see. I can't even like do anything about it because the turn out speeds the magnet zone. So that's why he can just always U-turn chip at my magnet zone. Um, I guess some wish pass would be cool on this team, but it's not really. You can't really fit that. Um, there's a version with Clef. Hmm. With Clef and Cartana. But yeah, I guess he should be chipping at the Swampert. But like, oh, that this tornadoes, dude. I need to get rocks up, but. Fortress is just gonna spin if I go for rocks, and I don't have fire move to lure the fortress, so there's not really a point in trying to predict the fortress. This guy's not predicting at all, he never clicks Ice Punch or rocks or something like that. Mm. Oh, I can pull a double into Mawile here, expecting the tornadoes. And go for a knockoff from there. I think that would be a cool play. And yeah, Fortress is gonna be able to wall them more well, but I can at least knock that off. Um, I wish I had Fire Fang. I can knock off the Fortress here, it's gonna U-turn out most likely. Uh, hopefully it's not Helmet, I hope it's Leftovers Fortress. And yeah, Fortress, I can trap that with the Magnezone. If he wants to get up a hazard, then he, I will trap him with Magnezone, and if he doubles out, it's okay. Because what is he going to double out to punish my Magnezone? He can't... Yeah, he can go for Swampert, but I have Tangrus to always wall his Swampert. Um, this wouldn't be a bad matchup for him if he would play it better, but he's just playing it passive. Yeah, he's Helmet as I expected, and I will just go Magnezone. Well, he could be Earthquake Fortress. I don't know if that would be a thing. But yeah, HP Fire to pick this off, because I'm not spec, so I'm pretty sure t might not kill it. Like Fortress has bad speed I know, but Magnezone is not that strong with only a choice scarf. Um, yeah, like a downside, one thing that I don't like about Magnezone, it's super slow. Like even with a scarf, you don't even like outspeed stuff like Greninja. Um, you don't outspeed stuff like Torn, um, which is super annoying in this matchup that I don't outspeed the Torn. But yeah, I can defog with the Landris on this Scizor. So I'm gonna try to bait the scissor in. Well, hmm. I go Reuniclus here. I don't want to go Tangros. Risk getting status on that. Yeah, and I can. Like he's mostly gonna go scissor here, but that's not too big of a deal. Is he toxic to me? Does he not know what Magic Guard does? They, like low ladder people are. A lot of times really bad versus Magic Guard. I, um, the rain is still up, so there's no point in doubling to Magnezone. Um, so I'll just click uh, Focus Blast because it hits the Scissor if the Scissor comes out. Yeah, these people are bad. I should stop predicting. <laughs> like his plays just... Okay, okay, now you got me, but your plays just don't make any sense, dude. Um, if I was him, I would Toxic here predicting predicting me to go into Tangros. He goes Torn, which also covers the Tang and the Focus Blast. It's a good play on him. Yeah, like I don't really... <coughs> Again, like Reunix is, it can do work if I, after I trap Scissor, but it's like not gonna win this game that easy. I'm not getting good matchups for Reunix. I was gonna put it in the thumbnail, but I probably won't be able to do it. Like it's just not f the, the right decision, because I'm gonna put the one in the thumbnail that puts in the most work. Which I think Magnuson has been putting work so far. So I, I think I might just have to stay in here, because yeah, he's just gonna U-turn over, uh, over me. And if I go Lando, I take rocks and let him go into Swampert. Uh, if I hit this, that's really good. Nice. And I might be able to live a hit from this. I'm just gonna calc real quick if Psyshock picks it off. If Psyshock picks it off, that might be worth it to go for. But I, <clears throat> if I go th um, into my um, Tangrosy and he predicts that, it could put me in a bad spot. Uh, how much does Psyshock do? 20, yeah, Psyshock is a roll in my favor, so I'll go for it. And he predicts my Tangrowth. Yeah, I figured he might try to break my Tangrowth. And I knew I could live any one hit, and Psyshock is a roll in my favor. So I figured that was the play to make. Um, yeah, obviously he's not playing this great at all. 
my bad if you expected some high ladder um but this is just my new all but yeah let me pause and change the music ah nice 23 and oh let's get it fire win loss okay we got a victini team here <laughs> magnuson is a good lead here mm, so is garchomp i think i like i like garchomp a lot here of course he leads with Lele. Now, um, I go into Tangra to scout his set. Uh, looking at his team, it's probably Zemo with Lele or Zemo Victini, one of the two. Let's reflect Lele. Oh my god, no, not like this. Double screens with setup garbage. So, like, Z Celebrate plus SD plus DD. But I don't know what these two months are doing on their team then if it's setup spam. So we can knock off here and see this most likely Z celebrate. That does absolutely nothing confirming that it's Z celebrate. Yeah, I don't even know if I can beat this. Like I can't. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Um It's psychic terrain, so stored power is gonna do a million. Like I don't think Garchomp lives a hit. Okay, so um basically yeah, we didn't test this team. Now we just found out the weakness. Uh, yeah, Mio Eclipse. I don't think we um, thought about the celebrate Victini. Well, if he didn't have the Psychic Terrain support, maybe this would be a different story. But let me give him a boost and everything instead. Pretty sure I can't even do anything about this. This is just gonna sweep me. Stop power and terrain kills Garchomp. Yeah, like what am I gonna do? <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what I do? If I go Landris, I don't even get the Intimidate because he gets the boost after, so Stored Power is still at full power. Um, how much does Reuniclus take from this? It probably takes too much. Oh, well, Reuniclus might be able to beat this. Okay, we will try, we will try. He just hard searing shots, which I don't get. I will command here breaking him to Z move. Uh, if he attacks again, this doesn't work. But yeah, he does Z move. We get the play correct, and now we should be able to beat him. Cool. So, <laughs> thankfully, he makes uh, like he, he doesn't play that optimal, and we catch him. So I'm gonna side shock spam here. He should switch, but I guess okay. He's already set up, so he's not gonna switch. Yeah. So what I should do is just spam CM a bit. The thing is, he has Mega Gyarados in the back, so it's. This Reuniclus is not gonna like win the game. If he didn't have a Gyarados, this, this would have potentially just won the game. Uh, I also risk getting crit, obviously, which is super scary. Okay, this guy is asking for crit. Nice strategy, my guy. That's not how it works. Crit is like 4%, they nerfed it. Hello? You can't just ask for one. So Gyarados comes out. I go Lando here and you turn out uh, into my tank rows. Oh fuck, I should have hardened into tank probably. Actually, that's fine. I can go Magnezone. Should I scout for... Uh, did he have Intimidate or is he Moxie? He did have... He did have Intimidate, yeah. I don't know if he has off quick. I should have. This was a misplay. I'm really mad at myself. I should have just gone into. Yeah, I misplayed this. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Why did I not go into Tangrows? Why did I go into Magnezone? I don't understand. I misplayed there. Uh, Garchomp probably dies to plus two, which is bad. So I might have just thrown this game away. Oh, Garchomp doesn't die, hello? Garchomp doesn't die, it's a roll, but like... Um, I'm gonna go for Devastating Drake here. If he has Ice Fang, he obviously kills me. He subs, oh yeah. Hmm. I waste my Z there. We outrage as long as we don't hit ourselves. Well, no, he's low. He can only sub once more. I mean, I have Sucker on my Mawile. Actually, no, Sucker doesn't kill him. 
But yeah, yeah, rough skin brings him. Actually, rough skin, rough skin brings him range from sucker, I think. But yeah, I definitely misplayed this. Um, there's no terrain, my guy. Sucker punch kills. It does a lot. Good God. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around with this. I'm just gonna click sucker punch. He can get his free switch and do Victini or whatever if he wants to. I, yeah, he says, I know you're gonna suck a punch. Um, I don't know why he calls me noob in the chat. I've, yeah, this guy is so awful. This was one of the worst bluffs I've ever seen. <laughs> Classic little ladder. He says, I knew you're gonna suck a punch. He tries to make me change my play, but I have no reason to make a different play. Man said, worth a try. I might just have to ignore this guy because he's super annoying. Um, <laughs> he's super annoying. Uh, Reunicus has had... Relatively healthy, which is good because Halucha gets a speed death boost, which means Psyshock is going to be able to do a lot to it. Yeah, I go with Tangrowth here. I expect a Volt Switch. He Wisps, and I can knock off here expecting a Volt Switch into the Ferrothorn. Yeah, and we'll see now. It might be Helmet because Lolita has a fetish for Helmet Ferrothorn. How did I know these people? <laughs> okay, so he's going to spike. Well, I have a zone in the back. And he doesn't have a double that punches my zone, so I can just go to it. Yeah, he knocks my scarf. I don't need it. I just trap this. So he can get up a hazard here if he wants to. He can leech me and be a bit annoying, but getting rid of Ferrothorn is cool. Hopefully no protect. He is protect. Classic low ladder. Protect without leftovers. And he gets a double protect. That's a horrible set. What the fuck is this? Why are you protect without lefties? I know you have leech sheet, but still, that's no set. So, um... I'm gonna just sack this off. Uh, he's slower for some reason because he's this. Oh, yeah, he's this weird setup garbage. So I'm gonna vault here because I can't kill him anyway. Um, I can vault into my Mawile or I can. Well, health on Mawile, I don't think it matters too much. As long as I have Reuniclus healthy. And I just knock off here. Do I SD or do I knock off? I think I knock off, yeah. So he reflects again. So I could have um, SD to waste some of his turns. That would have been better. Mm, but yeah, in case he went hard, Victini unknocked. SD would have definitely been better there, yeah. Because Victini is not even a threat. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> so, this is really juicy. Nice win loss. Uh, if we can win this, we're 25 0. Yeah, this guy's taking his time, so let me pause it. So he goes out into Halucha, I'll just play rough, I'm not... I, I just have to hit this. Um, cool. He levels on 1%. Um, this could be Roost, so I'm just gonna play rough again. and Because dra Drain Punch can't kill me, and if he Roosts, player is always to play and we do connect, cool. So now um, we should just win the game. I mean, I don't need my Mawile, um, I'll just spam Sucker Punch. Oh, that killed suit through Reflect. Oh, Mawile is a beast. Goat. Okay, Mawile might have to get thumbnail. We'll see. Jerodom yeah, can't win, obviously. I have a Tangrowth. And a Reuniclus. So this game is over. I don't know, I haven't been saying GG, because I'm, I'm like still used to being locked, even though I got unlocked, what, like two days ago or something? Jay, yeah, let me uh, get another one. Versus LJAP26. So, what is this? What is this? Hooper Squad. We got something that. Um, we got a Ferrothorn that we can trap. And we also got a Juicy25 0 record now. So, it's most likely Megalodi. Oh, it's Megalopony. It's Megalopony. So, it could be Scarf. Let me, not, let me not stay in on a potential Ice Beam. Well, Ice Beam on Scarf is not a set. It's not. Mm, but if he Scarf, he's gonna Draco or Psyshock here, so I go Reuniclus and he's Ice Beam Potential Scarf, unset. So I'm gonna expect him to go Hoopa here and go back into Landris. Uh, I could have also gone Garchomp. Garchomp might have gotten me more out of the turn. Yeah, now I'm expecting the Ferrothorn, but Yujin is still my play because if he goes Ferrothorn, I trap it. Oh, he just sexes Hoopa, that play made no sense. 
Um, no idea what he was thinking there. Now my reuniclus is opened up. I can get some free leftovers here. Because the Hooper is like the main thing that was pressuring me. And since that is dead, I don't have to fear him anything. So, Volcanion is a problem. If it's choice specs. If it's not specs, I can probably use it as setup for... I don't know why there's no specs Volcanion in the Kalk. So I'll just have to put in the specs myself. God, why can I not type today? Um, choice, specs. So yeah, steam eruption that does 500 bajillion. I don't know what to do. I don't have a switch in. Uh, Garchomp can live a hit, but hmm. do I need Garchomp? I don't need Garchomp. I think I go Garchomp here and get my rocks up. I risk getting burned. I know. Oh, he specs that kills in one. I didn't think it would kill in one. Okay, that he gets a high roll and he's choice specs. Oh well, if he's modest, if he's modest, then then it was a mid roll. But I'm pretty sure timid is the better set. Mm, I don't know how to beat this mod. <laughs> I have a Tangus, he's locked in, but good gravy. I want to double into Magnezone to trap the Pharaoh. I'm gonna do that, yeah. No, he can go. He can go Lardy, so I'll knock off here. Yeah, he doesn't have to go Pharaoh Zone. Does he? He's leftovers, okay. So I go Reuni here, and if I can set up my CM with my Reuni, I might just win the game. Oh, he's toxic. Unset. Cool. Because now the Volcanion can break through since I have CM. Don't crit me, dude. Cool. So as long as no crit, this Reuniclus just wins now. Um, that's what I was waiting for a game where Reuniclus can put in work. And this might be an Encore low pony, but it's not a big deal if it is. Um, Psyshock here. We even have Focus Blast, so we beat Ferrothorn 1v1. One one. He goes back in the Volcano. Crit doesn't matter, and he just forfeits. Cool, so we're gonna pause it and get another one. Look at that juicy um, 26 and 0. <laughs> okay, we have another weird rain team. Like, I don't get the ladder, these people are so weird. <laughs> I don't even know what this... Like, I can't even think clear, because you cannot... Like, what are these Unmons? Magnezone here. Flash can this bad boy. Um, he might be all out pummeling, but then I outspeed him, and Slash can is going to do like 80 or something. Well, this is like needed to, s to trap the fortress. But yeah, I still think that was the correct play. We get damage on this, and we can trap Flory later, like I said. So you just double into Pelipper, they could play. Um, I'm fearing, I'm fearing a potential hurricane. Um, I'll just go Magnezone here. It covers the Toxic, and it covers the Hurricane if he has that. If he's, um, he's never gonna score the Tangrowth, right? I guess he could have tried to get the burn, but that's an unplay. And also covers the U-turn. And yeah, these, these people for some reason are like Swampert Fortress Rain without without rocks on pearls. <laughs> and they never make any plays, they just play safe every turn. I'll knock off here. Expecting Dragonite or Fortress to come out. Um, I can go Lando and just defog the hazards away. Well, T-Spikes only hit two months, but they're still annoying enough, so I want to defog. Because him staying in um, just wastes rain turns, so it's not a big deal. Well, he can go back to Pelipper, obviously, soon. So, I know Tangos. Well, Tangos is, like, super important in rain matchups. This guy does have um, two Swift Simmers. The other guy only had one early. And he gets a freeze on the Mon that I need. So now, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I go Magnezone here. Another Ice Beam as he rain dances. Oh my god. He takes advantage of the phrase classic ladder players. Hacks and get rewarded for nothing. Um, I don't outspeed him anymore. Back to Tangrowth on the water move as he goes Swampert. 
I mean, he's gonna ice punch here, but like I can't really do anything. I can go more, well, I guess. He goes Dragon Knight. I look like a complete lord there. I was just trying to um, pivot around. Um, I can double into Magnus Zone here. No, no, he has a Swampert, but yeah, I figured he would go Fortress. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't go Swampert on a potential player off. So we do get him on the on the Fortress. t bolt should 2-8 KO. Yep. But with Tangrowth Frozen, I don't know if I can win this game. That's rough. He goes Pelipper, so he's gonna pivot into Swampert. Uh, super obvious pivot. I don't know what to do. Um, I can go Tangros, I guess. He Dragon Knights. That was really weird. Why would you Dragon Knight over Swampert? Swampert was so free there. So what I'll do is go Lando, Intimidate, U-turn out. Oh, he Hurricanes. Wow, unset. But uh, um, I think it's worth it to just get rid of the rocks here. He shouldn't stay in on a potential HPS unless he has E-Speed. But yeah, he does stay in. Willing to take HPS to the face. Nice unplay, my guy. This gives me more while and this gives me a player off because I did trap the fortress and he has no more um he has no fairy resist other than the fortress. So it's a free ass player off here. If he's mixed, uh off quick is gonna do zero because he's at minus two. I just need to hit this player off and pop the Ludicolo. Cool. So I'm all um trying to get thumbnail with Magnazone support. I don't think he can kill me unless he has all out pummeling or something like that. I don't know. So he does have the. Yeah, he is pummeling. Okay, so I should have sc maybe scouted for that. But we do eat it up. We do hit the player off. Oof, Mega Mobile the goat. Um, gotta be careful around the Dragon Knight now. That might have been a misplay. <laughs> well, the Dragon Knight is not DD, so Garchomp can check it. So I'll just knock off here. Um, in case he's DD for some reason, if he's like mixed, but he just earthquakes. This gives me Garchomp and this gives me my rocks. Actually, I can just click. I can just click my Z and get a kill. I don't want to lock into Outrage because if I lock into Outrage, he can revenge me with the uh, Swampert. Swampert's still a huge problem because uh, my Tangrowth is frozen. So we're gonna go Magnazone here, anticipating an Ice Punch. Uh, we're gonna Veteran outplay this, and now we're gonna go. Back to guard jump. We're gonna go Tangros. Problem is I'm frozen. Uh, please just saw my guy. <laughs> U turns out. Um, yeah, like, I don't know what to do now. He pops. Yeah, I lose to this. Like, what am I gonna do, huh? Somebody tell me. I need to thaw out. This guy really taking full advantage. Like, come the fuck on. Like, what? This is not fair. Garbage. So we do have play there, but it doesn't matter because. Like, he can just pop again here. He waterfalls. Like, I'm trying to stall out the rain, that way I can go to my guard room and come back in, but. The rain lasts so fucking long, and he's at plus two. Um, so I don't even know if Reunicus can live a hit. It can't. So Outrage here, he just hmm, sex Pelipper. I should have SD'd there. Well, it doesn't make a difference. Because um, Swampert can come in and Ice Punch me. If I live a. Oh, we don't even kill him. God. Garbage. I need this to be at full. And then maybe I could have lifted the hit from the Swampert. If I lift this Ice Punch from full. No, I don't. Well, I mean, what am I gonna do? Freezing my. Freezing Tangros was the end of me. Like, I, I can just. I can still hope that I throw out on Tangros, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I know my luck. So he pops playing fucking risky, shitty games. So if I don't hit myself. I have a... I win now! Wait, no, he can Earthquake. He can Earthquake to kill me. God, this guy tries to choke so hard. 
So I only get one chance to saw because Ice Punch is going to do like 60%. And yeah, we're going to lose this game unless we saw here. We obviously don't saw out because it's Pokemon. But I'm the nice guy, so I'm going to say GG and forfeit this one. Garbage, man. Classic ladder players, man. We're back. Um, this is a team that Malik has used in OST. Uh, Volcarona uh, Eclipse doesn't really prep for Volcarona, so this is going to crush me. Fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I think... I need of my... My boy... My boy Tangros here. As he just leads her Volcarona and he's gonna 6 so oh, cool. Fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> Who leads over the broken one into 6 so oh? So we're gonna have to outplay, go Garchomp, um, switch out on the bug, Z move into Lando. Yup. Of Quake, but yeah, we just lose to this. I mean, I have to go Garchomp, go for Dragon Z here, hoping that he stays in on the choke. So he sacks his Volcarona, that would have six out me, but I know I lost my. Lando and a lot of health on my Garchomp in the process. So I don't know if it was worth it. Um, I want to break them to double and to mobile and go for Earthquake here. I really want to make that play. I'm gonna do it as he just scolds. I mean, fair play, I guess. I mean, he was already in a better position because he already got 1.5 kills with Broken Volcarona. Like, what am I gonna do there? I have to like make some aggressive play, in my opinion. If I go Tang on his mobile double, um, I'm I'm pretty much just in a bad spot. Like I then I have to go to my own mobile. Like, wait, no, I didn't mean to go to. Actually, this works here. Yeah. Mm, so I go for the knockoff on the Ladi or Lando. Okay. So this is I have Papa Lando with rocks, HP, Ice, Defog, U turn or something like that. I can't win this game. Like, Volcarona is just too stupid. Like, what am I gonna do? Um, obviously, I shouldn't have thanked my Garchomp, but I thought he would double like a good player, but yeah. Good players and ladder. That obviously doesn't exist. So, we I run a lot of speed on this model, but it seems he runs more on his. Why did I. That did nothing. So, we have to go off a dodge maybe here. We don't get it. So just go to um, Magnum Zone. Volt switch out. Into my boy. Tangrowth. Um, maybe Reuniclus can win this game. I just have to be careful around the trick from the Mega from the Scarf Lady. If I knock this, I think I go Magnum Zone here. Anticipating the trick. Ooh, how do how do I do it? Okay, buddy. And now we go into Reuniclus on the Psyshock slash Draco Meteor on the Landris, okay? So we Psyshock here, predicting the U-turn to get some damage. Probably wasn't the play to make. Um, we go Magnuson anticipating the trick, but like, I have to play outplay so much. This is like... I don't know if this is winnable. Um, so we Flash can here as he finally... Yeah. He gets me there. You get to comment up. Problem is, I'm always forced to. Um, I can't stay in, so I should not have even set up. So he has an AV Ladi now. Um, how much does Draco from Scarf Ladi do? Um, Ladi is super weak, so it might not do enough to. It might not do enough to really close. Yeah, it does nothing. So we can go really here. If he doesn't double, we can set up and win with this, I think. The dodge doesn't matter too much. It obviously annoys um, him a lot. Um, so how much does this do? Kill you, Hydro Pump. It's choice Specs, I think. I don't know what a Kalk doesn't have that. This game should have been an L. I don't know how the guy managed to make it so close. Plus one Spadev does a lot but if I see him again I should be able to live too um, maybe I should not risk getting crit too much yeah I shouldn't cool 
so yeah amazing so that guy threw the game out the window that he should have won with ease but yeah thank you guys for watching let me know in the comments or on twitter what you want to see next um smoke those playoffs round one round two uh ost round eight i even have earlier ost rounds with some fun games uh, what else do i have World Cup qualifying, I have some games, not all of them were that great. And I can do more short on lives, but I would prefer the next video to not be a short on life. I would prefer to do like at least two games. Well, actually, let me know if you want to see World Cup. Tomorrow, a uh, World Cup is happening. ABR is playing tomorrow. Um, I'll probably just do the World Cup games and yeah, I'll try to get them up the day they happen. That would, that would be cool. But yeah, just for the next days, um, yeah, actually World Cup started now, so I will be focusing on World Cup. I don't even know why I'm asking this. I will be focusing on World Cup, but if I have the time to upload something that's not World Cup, let me know. If you want it to be Smog Tours or OST or World Cup qualifying games. And thank you guys for watching and peace out. Team is going to be down below if you want to test it out for yourself. And goodbye.